so cool. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Michael Brooks, you may know me best as the founder of the Coach on Fire radio and television networks. And I'm right here at the Boise Clock Tower in beautiful Boise, Idaho. And uh, what I have to share with you today is very, very exciting. And uh, just taking some time off of work to have a little bit of fun and play. As soon as I get dried off, oh, that just hit me in the face. As soon as I get dried off, I will be right back with our share and our topic for today. Hello everybody. Okay, I'm cold off on a 100 degree day here in Boise, Idaho, and I hope you're all having an awesome week. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm Michael Brooks, and many of you know me best as the founder of the Coach on Fire Radio and the Coach on Fire Television Network. Let me give a little credit here where credit is due before I get to the topic of the day. Marissa Murderoid, and Marissa, I apologize if I butchered your name. Well, she wrote a really cool blog post on this, and while we may look at it a little differently, Marissa deserves all the credit for bringing it up first. I've included a link to Marissa's blog post in, uh, at the bottom of the text in this video. Okay, let's get on with today's topic. As Julius Caesar began his conquest in building the Roman Empire, he had a secret weapon. You might call it a Trojan horse, really, but not the typical Trojan horse used in military battles at the time. Caesar was about action and achievement. He could not have built the largest empire ever recorded without motivating his people to peak performance and encouraging creativity. In Latin, the Romans called work and achievement negoti. But Caesar's secret weapon was, wait for it, odium. Say what? Odium. Odium is the opposite of negodium. Take out the NEG and you have odium. Odium means well-earned leisure after action and achievement. To the Romans, that meant the enjoyment of eating, playing, resting, meditation, and even learning something new. Negodium, balanced with odium, was a pillar of Roman society and allowed them to conquer the world and create amazing innovations of the time, like harnessing water in the giant aqueducts, not to mention priceless works of art. The Romans understood that fun and play is essential to achievement, peak performance, and creativity. Yet, as business owners and solopreneurs, we often neglect fun and play, not thinking it's productive. When you work from home, it seems there's always something to do in your business, and your computer is just a few feet away. Leisure takes a back seat. We need a paradigm shift to build leisure, fun, and play into our businesses as part of the creativity process to keep evolving and growing. Strive to build fun and play into your workday every day. Your imagination and creativity will explode. Make it a prosperous week every day. Back to the water for me. Until next time, be great.